At times, God permits the devil to exert special influence over certain individuals who are striving for profound spiritual growth, those whom God deeply favors. This extraordinary trial may persist for many years, serving to purify these individuals of their imperfections and instill deep humility within them. God's elect may find themselves under constant siege by the devil for extended periods, enduring intensely violent temptations. The devil might manifest visibly before them, assail their ears with horrific sounds, or be allowed to physically strike them and force them to the ground. While God safeguards their lives, he may grant the devil authority over their physical beings, inflicting bodily pain and illness upon them. They suffer the most dreadful temptations against faith and purity. Though the evil one holds no dominion over their souls, God occasionally permits him power over their bodies, causing them to act and speak in astonishing ways against their will, a humbling experience in the eyes of others. At times, they may even utter blasphemous words, powerless to prevent themselves. This assault by the devil is known as obsession. Holy figures like Job, Our Lord in the Desert, Saint Anthony, Saint Teresa, Saint Mary Magdalene of Patsy, and numerous other saints endured such trials. When the devil threatened Saint Catherine of Siena's life, she responded, Do what you can. What is pleasing to God is pleasing to me. Saint Mary Magdalene of Patsy told him, you do not seem to know that you are preparing for me a glorious victory. Saint Anthony, in the desert, defied him, saying, How feeble you are! I suppose that is why you are bringing such a crowd of devils to tempt me. These holy individuals understood that God would never allow them to be tempted beyond their capacity for resistance and that these temptations were permitted for their greater sanctification. In the face of life's spiritual struggles, Take heart in the knowledge that God's love and protection are ever present, guiding you towards a deeper union with Source. Embrace the trials as opportunities for growth, and find solace in the unwavering strength provided by your faith and the cherished wisdom of those who have walked this path before you.